Hello again, Mr. and Mrs. Pittsburgh and Mr. and Mrs. America and all the ships at sea. This is a walking around my back porch edition of Scintillating Commentary. You know, as sure as my name is John McIntyre, I'm getting sick and mac and tired of people not having a clue. But I feel like there's reason for hope. I feel like that people are starting to get a clue. I mean, of course, we realize that millions of us don't have a clue because how else would we get a president who has absolutely no clue? I have no clue. Many people are saying I'm an idiot. My Secretary of State said I was a fucking moron, and he was right. All right, but look at the evidence. Black Lives Matter protests all over the world. Most people are starting to get it. They understand that it doesn't mean that all lives don't matter. It just means that black lives matter as much as the rest of ours. Hence, we should stop the institutional racism. Hence, we should stop police brutality and the killing of innocent black lives. The chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, he woke up and smelled the coffee and he realized that Donald Trump was using him as a prop as a political pawn in a ridiculously stupid and unconstitutional publicity stunt. And when I say unconstitutional, I mean you don't get to use military forces of the United States of America to move a peaceful protest out of Lafayette Park so you can stand in front of a burned out church with an upside down Bible, you idiot. All right, NASCAR has decided no more stars and bars, no more redneck flag, no more Confederate flag at their uh, wonderful little ceremonies where you watch a car go round and round and round and round, which I've never understood for the first place, but that's beside the point. This isn't happening, but it is happening. People are starting to get a clue. We're going to rename, apparently, there's a movement to rename the forts that were named after Confederate generals uh, for other names, names of people who didn't decide to secede from the United States of America in order to try to preserve the institution of slavery. People are getting a clue. This could just be some white privileged glasses half full, overly optimistic nonsense. But the polls right now, and there's a long way between now and election day, but the polls right now are in our favor, even in redneck bill. Donnie is, uh, is tied. So this is some serious crap, but it seems that maybe there's a possibility that the good guys are winning. Check back with me in a few months. Finally, let me say that if somebody asks you to, to answer this little trick of a question, how many kinds of moron, how many kinds of moron is Donald Trump? Well, specifically, you can tell them because I happen to have looked it up. You can fact check this. He's three, three kinds of moron. Number one, Donald J. Trump is Secretary of State Rex Tillerson once told us, is a fucking moron. Number two, the title President Trump itself is an oxymoron because, of course, the word president has nothing to do with this jackass named Trump. And number three, for reasons I'm pretty sure you're probably already aware of, President Donald J. Trump is a hydroxymoron. And that is scintillating commentary.